Okay, well, there we go. And now the、uh, sound on the recording is actually working. <laughs> so it's lucky I looked up there and got distracted because.、Uh, We were actually not,、uh, we've been here for ten, like 10 minutes, all you guys watching the movie, and we have not、um, been recording in the video.、Uh, so the video just started, and that's fine because the first part of this whole thing was actually an introduction to people in the room and how, about how we do this kind of stuff and,、uh, and what we're going to have tonight and what we're going to see tonight.、Um, and starting the video here is just absolutely fine. Let me say a quick welcome to the video, people. This is Thursday evening. And、uh, you are welcome here in the learning wing at Online Techniques with the whole rest of us. Now, let me give you a quick rundown of what this is about tonight.、Um, we have had a rash of stuff going on、um, with security on、uh, our websites. Now, most of us in here at this time are going to be WordPress bloggers.、Um, We use the WordPress interface because, number one, it's very easy to use, it's simple to use, and at the same time, it's really powerful and it gives you the opportunity to create a website with dynamic content, meaning ever changing content, new content all the time. And that's、um, really important for search engine optimization to be found by search engines.、Uh, Additionally, WordPress is actually a very, very secure platform compared with a lot of others, okay?、Uh, compared with most static、uh, website platforms, it's extremely、um, secure. If you, know, you always want to do the things that, I don't know, I think there's, there's something. <laughs> congenital in internet marketers. We don't want to use complicated passwords. We don't want to use complicated usernames and things like that. But that's, you know, you need to. You need to be using 12 character、um, passwords generated by a password generator, like a robo form or something like that.、Um, And you need to have, you know,、uh, one through nine worked in there and your little、uh, symbols worked in there. And, you know, I use the craziest passwords the world has ever seen. I don't have to remember them anymore. You know, I, it, so it's not a big deal.、Um, but people still fight it. They want to use their birthday. They want to use this. They want to use that. And,、uh, you know, things that are easy for them to remember.、Um, I want to use the most arcane things humanly possible. Things that no robot going 50 million miles an hour could ever possibly figure out.、Um, and so I use generated passwords and I use RoboForm everywhere so that I can shift from one, to, one password to the other and not worry about it. And I don't have to remember all those things. And they're available anywhere I want them on any machine. Okay?、Uh, so that makes it really, really easy. But、uh, you know, we need to be doing that stuff. Well, even those of us who have been doing that stuff have recently run into a whole bunch of、um, really, really weird crud out there. Now, what you're looking at is、uh, this is taken off a website today.、Uh, a website where,、uh, you know, there, there hasn't been much development go on yet. This is that Hello World post on a WordPress blog. Only this one says, This is your first post. Buy Viagra Jelly Online. <laughs> okay, great. You know, well, let me see in the, in the、uh, text chat how many of you guys have run into on your websites have had this stuff、uh, inserted into your website. <laughs> yes, John, I got it off of yours. <laughs> Terrence has it. Rob, Robert's had it. Look at all the yeses. Look at all the yeses. Okay. So have I.、Um, I've had worse.、Um, how many of you guys have had the famous iframe insertion into your website? Have you seen those? You go to your website and AVG, for instance, pulls it up. Randy's had it. Okay. You're, all, you go to your website and all of a sudden the antivirus is saying,、um, You know,、uh, there's an iframe、uh, insertion into your website. I'm not going to let you go there. Well, guess what? I'm going to tell you a quick story. This is pretty funny、uh, because I did、uh, what I'm going to show you today is a plugin called Bulletproof Security. And this was、um, suggested to me、um, by John Jarvis. 
who heard about it from somewhere else. And um, apparently there were people having all sorts of trouble with this. But I looked into it, and a lot of development has gone on with this plugin over the last several weeks. Um, and it seems to me almost flawless and easy now. I'm not going to recommend that anybody in here go for the paid version, okay? Because the paid version gets complicated. But uh, protecting you from those kinds of uh, insertions of code in the video code um, or, uh, you know, and all this kind of stuff that we are normally plagued with, that's very easy. And this plugin will do it very effectively. You do have to set it up right. So I just want to tell you a quick story. Um, I had the famous iframe intrusion happen to me a little while ago. Um, and it happened on all my websites at the same time. They get wham, they get through your, you know, through through a server. They get through one thing in your web host account, and poof, they just run through it all. So um, when I had that iframe intrusion thing a while ago, and for those of you who don't know what that is, um, that is somebody inserting code in your website, and what was inserted in mine was geographic sensitive advertising. Now, most people, when they go to your website, will never see anything. If they have um, uh, antivirus that is not going to show it up, like AVG is very sensitive, and it'll, it'll say, you know, there's a, a, an iframe intrusion planted in this website. You don't want to be here. And it won't even let you go there, okay? Um, but uh, some, some, you know, antiviruses, or if you've got your antivirus out of date, you can go there. And most people will never see anything from one of those deals. What those are is mostly geographically sensitive advertising. In other words, if you happen to live in a certain area, the, the thing will pick up your IP address and they'll say, oh, bingo, here's one in that area. And it'll say, go to the Des Moines Plumbers. So a little advertisement will pop up and it looks like it's part of the website, but it's not at all. It's just uh, they're piggyback advertising using your website. And most of that stuff is geographically sensitive. So most people never see it. You know, well in Bologna, visit whatever. Okay, that's what that stuff is. It's mostly advertising uh, malware. So anyway, I had all those taken care of. Yeah, but since you can't get in there, you know, AVG won't let me go to my website. I couldn't fix it. GVO, my hosting company, fixed it for me. Well, guess what? I go today to stevegehagen.net, which is my, you know, working teaching blog, and I can't get in there because there's an iframe intrusion. And what I want to do is get in there and set it up so that I can teach you how to use this plugin that'll keep you from getting that iframe intrusion. <laughs> so, but I couldn't get in there because I had an iframe intrusion. Anyway, GVO fixed it. Uh, and, and um, you know, I've got the whole thing set up now, but I thought that was just very ironic. This plugin comes from a company called AIT Pro. And, uh, you know, like it says there, there are ways to protect yourself. When you create a website, you are creating a valuable piece of internet real estate. Um, some real estate is more valuable than others. Um, before we're done today, I'm going to mention the workshop that I'm going to be doing after the first of the year, which is um, about niche blogging. And it's a, it, it involves a technique where you create uh, internet real estate and you make it valuable before you ever try to get customers for it. Um, it's an interesting way of doing things. And we're going to be doing a workshop on that after the first of the year. But basically what a website is, is internet real estate. And you own it. You know, you need to protect it. And this guy here takes care of most of the problem threats that we have to deal with. Now, this is a free plugin that we're going to be talking about. And I want to give you a little history of it. I spent, John said he spent a, a, um, said, was, was, uh, you know, spent a whole bunch of time um, looking into this. I'm going to show you the easy way to go about this, okay? I'm not going to tell you a whole lot of why you're doing this or why you're doing that. I think we confuse people too much. Um, this is actually... 
a very, very simple thing to do. And all you need to know is that it will protect you from most of the stuff you have to deal with online, provided you do the things that you need to be doing. You know, you need to you know change your password every couple of weeks. Um, even if you're having no problems, change your passwords, change your username if you if you can on things you can change your username, but but really change your password every couple of weeks at least, um, and you know do the security things. If you do that in combination with a plugin like this, then you're going to be fine. And uh, I did do enough research to find out that they did have all sorts of problems with this. When they started out, and they started out only a few weeks ago. This is a new, newer plugin, um, and they had all sorts of conflicts with different plugins. And there was a period of time where they were advising everyone that when you were going to install this puppy, they were telling you to go in and actually deactivate all of the plugins that you had installed. All right. Um, they're not doing that anymore, and I'm not going to show you doing that. I'm going to show you how simple it is now. Now, this is called Bulletproof Security, and our agenda this evening is very simple. We're going to load and activate it uh, right into our WordPress blog, and from that moment on, this guy will be, you know, should be fairly much impermeable to turning you into an unwilling Viagra or uh, big member, <laughs> you know, um, um, purveyor on your website. <laughs> so, I mean, those I've, I've found some god-awful things on my website, and uh, this should prevent it. I installed it today on all my other blogs, all my other websites, and had no problem on any of them. However, there is stuff, it doesn't just install. You don't just put it in and forget it, okay? You need to know certain things to do, and we'll go through them. Okay. All right, anyway, I'm gonna go to desktop sharing right now. Right now, we are looking at the website that is this training website that I talked about, and we've, uh, we've seen this before, stevegehagen.net. I am going to go right into... The WordPress blog. Tog, you don't see this? Okay. We are going to have a lag. All right. Okay. Now, here we are in the dashboard, and I'm going to make this really easy. We go to plugins. I'm going to click on installed plugins so that you guys can see what we've got in here. Uh, no, I'm not on Wi-Fi, Denny's. Um, here is here is the plugins page, and uh, we've got all of the normal plugins that we put into uh, you know one of our uh, blogs. If you go with the uh, through the blogging workshop, these are most of the plugins that you're going to find. So, easiest way to do this one is just go to Add New, and it's called um, Bulletproof. Security. Just put it right in there. Search the plugins, and this is available on uh, in the WordPress library. There it is, right there. Almost five stars. It's the one by Edward Alexander. And just click install now. Um, the actual instructions for it on their site tell you that you need to FTP this up. And that's really not true. It's installed the plugin. I'm just going to click activate the plugin like I would with any plugin. And there it is. Okay, so now it's in there and it's active. Have not yet destroyed the website as far as we know because we're still seeing things here. Are you guys following me? Okay, there we go. Now, um, I'm going to go to settings. And this is where you need to do some special things. Click on settings and we will go there. Now, there's all sorts of stuff here, okay? There's all sorts of stuff that um, you need to, 
you know, you, that it wants you to read, like opening this and reading this whole thing and all this kind of stuff. I'm going to tell you guys who have normal WordPress blogs on normal hosters, <clears throat> 90% of what you have here, you don't need to worry about. Now, it's going to look for HT access um, files. It's going to look for them in your root directory. It's going to look for them in your, uh, in your WordPress admin directory. It's going to do all sorts of things. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, You don't need to understand this stuff to know what to do here. First, you go to backup and restore. All right, and you're going to want to back do the first one here. Back up HT access files. Tell it to back up your files, and it's going to do that. Okay, and it says you currently. Excuse me. All right, and it tells you right here. It'll tell you at the top, tell you at the bottom. An HT access file was found in your root folder. No HT access file was found in your WordPress admin folder. This is typical. Okay? Your root is backed up. Your WordPress admin access is not backed up because guess what? It doesn't exist. <laughs> All right? Um, now, you don't worry about this restore thing here, but you go down here and you back up your BPS master access files and you back that up. All right. Let it do its thing here. Okay. All this stuff has now been backed up. And what it's telling, telling you was that it couldn't back up your WP admin HT access file because it does not exist, right? So we don't have to worry about that, guys. Um, we've backed up, and this is storing these backups on your server where this plugin can find them. You don't need to worry about where, all right? Now, um, you've done all the backing up you can do. And at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to security modes, And you can check security status if you want. It won't tell you anything yet. But you've backed up everything that you can back up. And now what you need to do is use the auto magic buttons, okay? Um, you, you're going to create a default HT access file. Now, don't worry about these over here. Don't worry about these over here. Click this one. Okay, clicking OK. There we go. All right. That was created successfully. Um, and that's your default HTA access. You will never use that. Okay. You shouldn't be uh, uh, only when you're um, troubleshooting your website or working on your website. Um, now, create secure HT access file. Click that one. Okay. All right, and this says the whole thing was created successfully. Now, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Now, you're not going to go into default mode here. Uh, you're going to go into bulletproof mode, bulletproof mode, and on down the line. All right, do them one at a time. Click bulletproof mode and activate. Let it do its thing. Okay. Bulletproof security root, for, uh, security root folder protection activated. All right. And now we go down to here. Activate website WP admin folder. And activate. Let it do its thing. Okay, and up here it says, you know, we've, we've activated that. Now, we need to go down here and 
<coughs> do these two. Activate this one, which is um, deny all HT access folder protection um, for the BPS master HT access folder. You don't need to know what it means. <laughs> Click it. Very simple. Okay. And then down to the last one. Activate that sucker. All right. Now we've gone through and we've activated all of these guys. We want to go to our security status because it's going to tell us something funny. All right. We're going to get greens on all of this stuff except your current WP admin HT access file is not backed up yet. And if you go to the readme, you'll find that that's because we just installed it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go to backup and restore. And let's see, where is it? WP admin access is not backed up. Okay. Um, yeah, now I'm just going to back up everything right now because now I've got it all going on and I'm going to go through this again and back up everything the way it is right now. We backed it up beforehand. See, now notice the red has gone away. Okay. We backed it up beforehand. I want to back it up again now. This is restore. I don't do anything there. I'm backing up this. Okay. So now we have um, backed up everything. It's available back here. And when I go now to security status, it's going to tell me green on everything. Everything's backed up. Everything is protected. Uh, and I can go to my dashboard and you know see that i still have a website <laughs> a lot of people are, are are you know seriously afraid of this thing but there's no reason to be afraid of it i'm going to refresh this and you're going to see the website is still there all right only now what people can't do is come in unannounced and put all sorts of stuff in all over my website through back doors that exist in plugins um, you know, one of the first things that GVO people will tell you is just don't use any third-party plugins. Well, wait a minute. What the heck does that mean? That basically means don't use any plugins. And that's not what you, you know, you want to use plugins. You need plugins for different reasons. That's one of the prime reasons for using WordPress. Well, this just plugged up most of the back doors. The problem with plugins is that the people who write the plugins create back doors so that they can get in there and fix things. If you need to, you know, if you need some help, they can get in there and and do things. Well, those back doors are vulnerabilities. And there are vulnerabilities in WordPress and we just plugged up a whole bunch of them. Now that was not difficult. Hold on, I'm going to come out of desktop sharing. That was it. That's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Um let me look at questions we got. Larry, we did. Uh, we went to um, um, uh, we went to security modes. It's called that's that that section's called security modes. So you do backup and restore and back up your stuff, um, and then uh, you know then then go over to security modes and you can s check your status all the time at security status. I would tell you don't worry about the other stuff. You know, there's a lot of stuff in here, and it can get very confusing to people who aren't ready for it. So uh, my point is to uh, help you protect yourself without confusing you. Let's see, what do we got? Um, yeah, Todd, you can do that, but I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lay that on people in here um, because that's gonna that's gonna confuse a whole lot of people. And uh, it's just what what I'm trying to do here is make this stuff simple and get you the you know. Uh, the best protection, the best kind of website, the best use of your website that you can get without um, demanding that you be a techie. 
And uh, so <laughs> I know I know the people who are in the room. I know the people who are in our group. And uh, if we start talking about stuff like that, then um, two thirds of them are going to go away. <laughs> Although, yes, you're correct. You spent five hours trying to do that two days ago. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry about that. Um, actually, uh, my understanding is that trying to do that about a week and a half ago would have been a real problem. There would have been other problems. Um, they've gotten rid of a lot of problems with this new version. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, you're dealing with the INI files and all that other stuff that's in the pro thing. Uh, you know, it's, it, yes, I mean, you can, there's always ways to protect yourself more, but this is a huge amount of protection against m probably 98% of the stuff that you're going to run up against. And it's that easy. So that, that, uh, that really is simple. And, and to me, if you're not using it, you're leaving yourself wide open to being thought of as a, a you know, enhancement powder, uh, specialist. So. <laughs> now, I want to um, just remind you guys really quickly. First of all, you can get that, you know, get that. Uh, yes, this is being recorded, so you'll be able to see it uh, tomorrow or the next day. Um, also, you know, you can get that right in your library. It's just called uh, Bulletproof Security, and you can get it in your WordPress back office. Now, I, I want to quickly remind you guys, we're going into the new year. Everybody is, you know, refreshing their businesses and setting things up. If you want to outsource some stuff cheap, um, online techniques uh, does a lot of things. I want to remind you of just four of the things that we do really quickly. One is the video go around software rental. You guys have seen the videos that we do using the video go around software. That software costs 97 bucks a month if you want to use it to make those little um, computer movies from articles, uh, multiplying your articles and your blog posts into videos. It's really easy to take a blog post and put it into this software and come out with a little uh, a movie. Now, it's not the world's most wonderful movie. It's just a computer head talking to you. But that means traffic because it's a video you can distribute to different places. Um, like John's new, you know, his son's new video hosting site or Vidler or YouTube. And it means traffic back to your website. We can do these suckers for you because we have the software. Um you don't have to go out and spend 97 bucks a month. Uh, to me, 97 bucks a month is not cost effective to do these things, but we make it available to everybody else. So if you have an article of one to 500 words that you would like to make into a video to use on your website, yell at me because we can do these suckers for you really cheap, 12 bucks and 50 cents per 500 word article, you know, six to 10 of them. Uh, you want to take six to 10 articles and convert those. We'll do them for nine fifty a piece. You want to do 11 and have 11 or more videos, um, $7 and 50 cents a piece. These things are really cool. They really do work to bring traffic and uh, it's a good way to repurpose your old articles. Yes, you have to have, this is, uh, this is something I neglected to mention. You do have to have, um, uh, a custom permalink structure enabled in your permalinks page for that plugin to work, all right? If you're using the plugins that we teach you to use in the blogging workshop, you have a custom permalink structure enabled. If you don't, hold on just a moment. I will go right in here, hold on, and I will show you Just a second. No, not just post name. That. Okay. You want the post ID followed by the post name. Um, and that in the permalinks page should be your custom structure. That's the most SEO-friendly structure you can use. Uh, it makes for long permalinks, but that's why they have the link shortener in there. Long permalinks are much uh, better for uh, search engine optimization. So uh, if you go into the permalinks and you put that in the custom structure and save that, then um, the thing will work. Okay. Um, if you're using the free traffic getting plugin, from Jeff Johnson, that will already have changed your 
permalink structure to match that. Um, but you can always go do that anyway. Now, guys, if you have a blog with all sorts of posts on it already and you don't have a custom structure, then you want to go get a, another plugin uh, called the Permalink Migrator. You can get that in the... Uh, in the back office of WordPress, the same way as I just got this one. Because if you change your permalink structure and you have a whole bunch of links out there directing people to this blog post and that blog post, those links will no longer be good. Okay? Um, so now, you know, if you've been emailing out for six months or seven months, you've been e emailing out links to your blog post saying, go check out this blog post, you'll want to get the, and you're going to change your permalink structure then you want to get the permalink migrator. What that does is it sets up redirects so that all of your, you know, people who go to those old links will go to the right blog post. But let me get back to this where the video, video ground software rentals, any of you guys have um, little articles that you want to um, change into a couple minute videos so that you can use the same article to get traffic, contact me. We can do these very inexpensively. Keyword research. A lot of people are confused about keyword research. We can do your keyword research for you if you want to be sure that you're building your blog around the right long-term keywords or that you're, you got the, uh, you know, a niche you can dominate for short-term keywords. Um, if you want to talk about this, all this stuff is, uh, you know, we will do this extremely inexpensively um, for, you know, the people in our group. But we need to have a little conference about it first uh, because uh, it, it, it changes from what you need, uh, how difficult the niche is going to be, how difficult your market is to find you good keywords that will really work. OK, um, the other thing is backlinking. Now, backlinking is something that we're going to be talking heavily about after the first of the year. A lot of people I've, I'm finding in the group don't even understand what backlinking is. But backlinking uh, is, is something that you need to be doing to raise the ranking of your blog, to raise the visibility of it in search engines um, so that you are more easily found. Now, backlinking can take time, and it also can be dangerous, guys. Um, there is something called the Google Slap. And I will tell you right now that uh, going out and putting 500 backlinks to your uh, blog is one good way, and then not doing anything <laughs> after that, is one good way to get the Google Slap. Um, we just over-backlinked a, uh, uh, a niche blog I'm working on, and it went from the first page of Google in the, in the third spot to the fourth page overnight. And I know the mistake we made, and it wasn't the amount of, uh, it, wasn't, it had nothing to do with the amount of backlinks. It had to do with where they were and how consistently they're put up over a, uh, over a period of time. Okay, uh, And the most important thing in, ba in backlinking is not that um, how many of them are, there are, but that it appears consistent as if it might be normal human activity. Because backlinking is also subverting the Google algorithm. It's cheating as far as they're concerned. However, it's something we all need to be doing. We just need to be doing it right. So... We can do, we can set up a backlinking linking program. We're backlinking all the time. We backlink for a lot of people. And we can set up a very inexpensive backlinking uh, program for you that will build valuable backlinks to your website in a credible manner over time. Okay, um, but we need to talk to you about it. So contact me if you're interested in that. Bookmarking services, we can do bookmarking services. Okay, if you don't have time to do your bookmarking, and after what I've taught you about only wire, you should be able to at least do that. But uh, if you don't, you know, if 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 you don't uh, have the time to do it yourself, we can set up a situation where we will do a certain amount of, of bookmarking for you every month, um, and we can do six month programs, month long programs, all that kind of stuff. Now, um, those things are important. I don't want you to forget, though, we've had some questions in here from um, some people that, uh, it, it, you know, we have this blogging workshop available. It's a series of 15 videos that is actually a membership site that costs one thing one time to get in. 
one of the things that's going to be going on around here over this next year is um, that we're going to be updating everything in the blogging workshop. I'm going to redo every single video that's in there as the year progresses so that it's, you know, every time you turn around, Facebook changes something. So the Facebook plugins are obsolete um, or getting there. And, you know, as new members come in, they point out to me what's not, what doesn't look the same anymore. And I will be redoing every video in there as we go through the course of the year. That's, uh, that's going to be a completely ongoing project that is not going to stop. So the blogging workshop is built, uh, anybody who's in here who knows the blogging workshop will tell you that it, and I'm see they're doing it already. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's the difference between just having a blog that's a bunch of, co- uh, Um, you know, put together stuff that just sort of sits there and one that will actually help you go out and find traffic through search engines, through, um, you know, uh, uh, through pinging and will actually bring new people into your sphere of influence, which is what blogging should be all about. Once you're on my mailing list, I can email to you, but your blog should be bringing new people to you and unless it's put together with the correct components, it won't do that. That's what the blogging workshop is all about. And uh, we're, we got a special thing going on it from now through Monday. And that is 50% off, half off the blogging workshop. So it's like 73 bucks um, for complete access to these videos that are going to be updated. And they're calling me and asking me anything you want about blogging all the time. Um, so that's... Um, the things that I wanted to remind you of. I don't know, is Janet or Janet and Don here? I don't think they were going to be uh, here this evening. So, nope, 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 nope. Okay, I can't see the members list. Um, Janet said they had family stuff going on. So, um, yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> so, anyway, but that is, we are doing, Janet is doing a call on Saturday. So, that's where I'm going to be at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern, um, at Janet and Don's training for Saturday. And I'm there every week, unless I don't want to be. Nee, nee, nee. <laughs> okay, she didn't show up tonight, so to heck with it. Next week... <laughs> <laughs> Next week, we're going to be talking about the niche marketing workshop. Um, this is going to be something that's, it's something that I'm doing uh, at Online Techniques. Um, and uh, it has to do with um, offline, setting up websites for offline business. You know, everybody hears, oh, offline business is the way to go. Make websites for, uh, for you know, people with local businesses and things like that. But they go about it the wrong way. How many people here have tried to sell a website to an offline brick and brick or mortar brick and mortar business? Give me a yes in the text chat if uh, if you've tried to do that. Yep. Uh, give me a, a reaction. Is it easy or is it difficult? Yeah. Um, and Scott, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. John says it's hard to explain to them. Exactly. It's they don't know what they're gonna get. Okay. Uh, it's like that Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates. Okay. I'm gonna show you a way to do this, where number one, you're gonna create real estate online. Number two, before you ever talk to anybody, you're gonna make it valuable, and then you're going to be able to approach someone and say. Would an extra 165 targeted visitors to your website every month help you? Well, guess what? I have a website that can do just that, and I can put you on it tomorrow. All right? Most people do this backwards. They go out and they try and sell. This is just a little hint of what I'm going to be showing you. But they go out and they try and sell a website to a business. And they say, well, I can't be sure of how many visitors you'll get, but we can do a traffic program and we can make sure that you you start getting seen and found and everything else. Well, I'm not going to teach you to do it that way. I'm going to teach you to go out and find the niche uh, that you can dominate, create your website, dominate that niche, and then document for a month how many people you're getting to it and then go out and not sell the website at all. 
but lease people space on it on a monthly basis. <laughs> okay? Um, so this, this is a really, really cool thing. And you're able to go to people that are on page four or five of a search and say, well, guess what? I've got 16, spa 16 spaces in the first two pages of that same search, and I can put you in all those spaces. <laughs> so this is really, really powerful stuff uh, and a much, much different way of dealing with offline businesses uh, where you have something concrete you can take to them. And as long as you have the right search and the right website put together in the correct way, it's really, really easy to do. There's a little downtime. You got to create the websites first. Uh, and, th and then the whole thing is about how you present it to people. So um, we're going to be doing a web uh, 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 a workshop on this after the first of the year. I'm going to say now it'll be in the beginning of February. But um, that's we'll be talking about that next week. We're also going to be talking about a lot about what you guys want to see here. So that's it for now. I'm going to stop for the purposes of the movie. I want to thank everybody for being here. Then I'll come back and we'll do any questions in the room that anybody's got. I want to thank you all for being here. Join us next week at the same bat time, same bat station, here in the Learning Wing at Online Techniques. And have a great and safe New Year's celebration, everybody. Bye-bye.